Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really good video for you guys. This is my girl, longtime friend, also former manager of the building at Phoenix Salon Suites. So that's where I met her the day I opened my first salon suite four years ago next month. And I knew her for four years and I've been doing her hair for about three years. Look how beautiful this grew in, right? No root tap, no toner, no shadow at all. Just a global toner on her. And we always do a 9P and 9N. Today we're going to be using K18. And we're going to be doing our normal maintenance appointment on her every three months. This is a three month grow out. And I just want to show you guys what a typical sinful blonde full retouch looks like especially when I don't need a root toner. That's why I love my Sinful Technique, which is basically back-to-back -back foiling, which I've always done. I rarely ever do a traditional foil where you leave a subsection, except for when I'm doing Teasy Lights. And just last week, I did add that option of a traditional foil for people who do like a little bit more of that dimensional kind of look. You can still have a dimensional look with using a dimensional stitch with my technique, but for the most part, it's back-to-back, -back, so it does look like it's growing out of the head. So this is not something you guys have not seen me do before. You guys see me foil all the time, but I just wanted to show you because also in this video today, I do a different technique I've been trying out foil placement wise because I do have my three set ways. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like me to go over my three favorite partial placements, my three favorite half placements, and my three favorite full placements. As you can see here, Jess has a little bit of where she likes to cut that under hair. So that is way too short to put in a foil. I can probably get it in a foil, but if I do, it's going to draw attention to it and make it look like breakage. So if you ever have a client who has them really low like that, you can leave them out. Because if you don't, guys, trust me, it will look like breakage.
on the left, I did do this foil placement really different than normal. I usually brick light, two in the middle, three in the middle, then I do two on the left, two on the right, and on the left and right, I usually do a slight diagonal. With this placement this day, I was trying something new I've never really done before, and I went off on a diagonal from the left, and I did about five or six foils. I went to the right, did the same thing, back to the left, and I just keep brick laying on a diagonal from the left, the right, and I make sure the foils are crossing over in the middle, and when I get to the top, I just go horizontal because we do want more of a solid coverage look with her solid blonde. You know, I know a lot of hairdressers out there that have one foil placement for every different type of technique, and that's great if it works for them. Me, I would personally get bored if I did the same thing all day, every day, back to back. So I do have my three favorite go-to partials, my three favorite go-to halves, my three favorite go-to foils for fulls. Um, and it just, you know, brings it, it adds a little bit of color to the day. And it also, you got to remember no two clients are the same. No two blondes are ever the same. They're all different in a slight way. Everybody has different hairlines. Everybody's hair growth patterns are different. So you got to really take that into account and take it into consideration anytime you are doing somebody to give them the best result for them that's possible. All right, so now I'm going to let Jess process. We let her sit for about 50 minutes total. She's a level six, but ever since she had her son a couple of months ago, we've noticed her hair is turning more reddish-like, more copper undertone. Really weird, but I let her sit a little bit longer than I used to, and then I want it to lift perfectly to a perfect nine minimum, if not 10, because we are going to tone her globally only. No root toner, no tap shadow smudge, and she never likes anything on the root, likes it as bright as possible, and she still comes every 90 days, and it grows in beautifully, as you guys seen earlier. So the key is let your bleach sit. Too many people are scared of letting bleach sit. No matter who it is, no matter what client, no matter what level they're at, even if they have old color, people do 20 minutes rinse. You cannot do that. You have to let the bleach process. I use the same developer everywhere. My go-to is 20 volume. It dies out over time, so every bowl is different. So the first thing I like to do with my clients anytime I'm doing lightening on them and I use lightener, I like to go in and I like to clarify. We're using Kevin Murphy's Maxi Wash. Then I'll follow it up with a hydrating shampoo. I think this day we used either the Hydro Rush by Amika or I think it could have been Joy Code Defy Damage. But I did use K18 on her as well, so we will not condition at all. We are just going to go in, do two shampoos. I'm going to tone her, but before I do tone her, we don't do a root toner, but I still like to apply a conditioning mask. I'll put that all over her hair, detangle it. You must detangle the hair before you do a global toner. Even if you're not doing a root toner, it might save time to just throw it on there, but it's easier to work through when the hair is detangled. I've done it before the other way, and it was really hard. You miss spots. you got to really get in there, really work the toner in. We did Rec and Shades EQ, 9P, 9N equal parts, and I just want you guys to keep watching and wait for these results. They're going to blow your mind.
All right, guys, there you have it. Look at these beautiful results. We let her tone for probably about five to six minutes. Rinsed her out really, really, really well. Did not shampoo again. And then I just put the number two part of the mask for K18. Let it sit for four minutes. Detangled her, added my styling products. And then we went in and blow dried her, styled her. And this is the final result. Let me know videos you want to see down below in the comment section. I want to put out more content for you guys. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one as always. So long for now. Thank you.